<laughs> Cheap gas. We think it's the best stimulus we've got. But in the speech last night, was the president trying to take credit for that? Oh, sure. Uh, you, a politician will take credit for the sun coming up in the morning if you give them the chance. That's their job. <laughs> but what, the pre what is interesting about the president and the speech last night, when it came to economic proposals, they have always been the same. They are unchanging. He is the immutable president that he continues to propose the same things. When the economy was very bad, he said that his policies were necessary to revive the economy. When the economy gets better, he says that his policies are now affordable, which is an interesting acknowledgement of the cost of his policies. But, but the same policies that he offered as a prescription for growth now says that growth will allow us to afford. So if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. We issued a long line of veto threats as well. Uh, oh, doesn't, yeah. doesn't that put him in the position of becoming the obstructionist now? It's not the Republicans, it's the president, isn't it? I don't think he cares. I think he cares very little about being the obstructionist. I think he cares very little, in fact, about what the national audience for his comments is. I think he is entirely focused on his legacy. I think having squandered the opportunity to remake his party in a substantial way, I think he is now focused on remaking the Democratic Party, uh, corralling Hillary Clinton and driving into the future.